Hey, Rosie, you want to demonstrate it for me? Mm -hmm. All right. Why don't you try walk back into the third row? Is it better now? Without a cup holder on your way? Yeah. Is it, is it better here in the middle now? Uh-huh. You like it? Uh-huh. Or you want it with the cup holder? No. No cup holder? Okay. All right. So, off on back. Walk back down. Let's see. There we go. Nice. So, you like it? Give me a thumbs up. Yeah. Come on, guys. Oh, this is Donnie here. Um, so in today's video, I want to do a little um, hack, I guess, if you will. So, as you know, this is our 2021 Toyota Highlander with platinum trim. So, and uh, let me actually open the rear door. As you guys know, um, well, if you didn't know, um, Toyota's uh, um, current generation Highlander when it's equipped with captain's chairs for second row as as this one um you're gonna have to deal with this cup holder in the middle i just don't know why um who actually really signed off on this at the uh, at toyota's engineering department when they were presenting this design but this is a huge inconvenience especially if you oftenly use you know the, the third row back there um and if you have small kids uh you know with whenever they need to access uh well you can always i guess um re you know slide these uh, second row chairs uh however seats uh however when you have you know set up as as ours like let's say you got a booster seat here you got a full size car seat there um it's just you know inconvenience it's just cumbersome to actually you know slide the seats and try to you know open the space for the row and we do have three children so my oldest one he's um he's soon to be eight years old so he normally rides on a third row and um and we just you know don't have really time or or any inclination to actually you know move these um uh, second row uh seats to you know get him access so we just normally just ask him to go through uh through the middle but because of you know this cup holder and and if you have something you know inside of uh, cup holders let's say like your you know drinks or whatever it just creates so much inconvenience so and he doesn't really like it um he he already mentioned it a few times in our previous uh, Highlander tw uh, 2017 actually had the same setup, uh, uh, captain's chairs in the middle uh, for second row. However, on the previous Highlander, previous generation Highlander, cup holders were actually trays. So whenever you needed them, you could just unfold them, you know, open the tray up and then, you know, sit your drinks or whatnot. But whenever you don't need it, you could just kind of fold it down and tuck it, you know, tuck it to the side of this um, uh, uh, passenger side second row seat and then you know you would still have that whole access the pass through in the middle and you know um and it was much easier and much more convenient for folks to get access to the back uh the row seat uh but now because of this and this is it's pretty you know it's static i mean it doesn't move it doesn't go anywhere so in this video um i came up with an idea try to see if i can actually remove this and uh and, and you know kind of cover it up make sure there's not going to be any open holes or whatever on the floor and at the same time cover it up nicely so that way you know um uh, you know my son actually can actually go through here uh through the pass through um easily without any uh inconvenience or whatever and getting rid of this basically cup holder so that's the project for today and um if you guys want to, you know, stick around and see how I do it, um, please do. And uh, I, I really hope it's going to work out well. I'm actually going to be doing uh, while I'm actually, you know, recording this video. So it's going to be first time try. And uh, if it works out well, uh, you guys be the judge. If you like it, you can definitely try to do the same thing because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who's been dealing with this uh, inconvenience uh on this highlander because uh i noticed there were um you know a few several people actually uh asked me same question if these uh, cup holders could be removed or not on these uh platinum or you know any um highlander trims that actually have this kind of setup and as far as i knew 
it was not possible to remove because I tried as soon as we actually got the vehicle because I didn't like right from the beginning, right from the get go. I don't like this setup, uh, but I wasn't able to, you know, remove it, nor I was able to find any cover where, you know, we could kind of cover it up and um, so, you know, still leave it in there. Since all of those tries were unsuccessful, I'm going to try to remove it and see what happens. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm about to start the process. So to begin, uh, I just want to let you know how I actually found out about, you know, being able to remove this cup holder. Um, so just the other day, I was actually, you know, washing, a, um, washing the vehicle and then, um, you know, I was vacuuming the inside because we had, you know, a lot of sand and all that, took the kids out to the beach. And um, so as I, as I was vacuuming, you know, interior inside the vehicle, like around this area, um see these things so when you touch them like you know it feels like a rubber kind of like a rubberish feel to it so but i always thought that this was actually fixed like you know build uh with this you know the cup holder or whatnot um but then as i was vacuuming you know the inside of this cup holder these things actually uh i, b I believe it was this one actually got stuck into you know um into the um the, the tip of the nozzle of the vacuum cleaner so and you know it got sucked and then this came off so let me show you so you see this uh tip right here tongue so if you pull it boom it comes off so as you can see it's got these uh kind of like a nipples right here that go inside of these uh small holes that kind of holds it in place so that's why normally it doesn't really come off that easily unless you actually pull it intentionally from this uh, piece right here. So then this came off and I was like, okay, so I mean, there's one screw. And then I was looking in here. I mean, there are no other screws, but I know it's, you know, it's pretty steady here. So it doesn't shake or anything like that. So then I thought about trying to remove this one as well. So, you know, I stuck my finger in there and then boom. This one actually came off even easier than the other one. So now, as you can see, we got three screws here. So one, two, three. And then um, next thing I did, of course, I was, you know, being so curious about this because I was really looking forward to get, getting rid of this thing. Um, then I try to guess, you know, what would be the, the size for the screw. And knowing Toyota and, you know, being, you know, kind of working on my own Toyota vehicles myself, like, you know, whenever it's time to adding stuff or removing things, I I kind of guess that it's most likely going to be 10 millimeter just because Toyota really loves that, uh, you know, size, uh, 10 millimeter because nine times out of 10, most of the, you know, um, screws like this uh, are going to be 10 millimeter. So, you know, I went in there and got my 10 millimeter socket to try it on and uh and when i did boom it fits like a glove so it is in fact 10 millimeters so with that being said uh let me remove these screws that way you can see um what's beneath it basically beneath this uh cup holder all right guys as you can see i just loosened these screws so for this all you really need is a 10 millimeter socket as i mentioned and uh, preferably uh, uh extension and ratcheting wrench um and these these are relatively you know softly tightened so you don't really need to you know put too much force uh, to loosen these screws, uh, and as soon as you loosen them a little bit, you can, uh, I took my, you know, ratcheting wrench off and then just use the extension, uh, with the socket myself and just untwisted it myself with my hand. So, cause it's, this is plastic. So, uh, of course they didn't put too much torque into this just cause, uh, you know, it would probably break the plastic and then look, watch this. Just like this, it comes off. All right. So let's put this aside. <clears throat> now this is what we have underneath so um next thing after i saw you know what's what's on actually uh, what was underneath that uh a cup holder i decided to get some parts uh and i'll show you right now what i got all right guys so um you know to uh to address those holes uh i decided to go ahead and get 
one of these. These are um, are actually a previous generation, a third generation Toyota Highlander um, third row seat floor mats. Um, here's the part number in case if you guys want to do the same thing as I did. And I also got this piece right here. That's just a multi-purpose roll. Um, can be used for like a, a you know isolation and whatnot. So what I want to do is that as you saw, um, there you know there are those two holes. So I want to kind of fill them in with this. That way um, you know there won't be any like open areas underneath. And then also I did get these uh, uh, Velcros actually Scotch Velcro, uh, Velcro pieces. So we'll see depending on how this. Um, how this floor mat is going to stick uh, onto a floor. Uh, I may use this, I may not use this, so we'll see. But either way, um, just to kind of give you guys an idea how much it costs, so like everything, it cost me about 45 fish, I guess. Um, just because, you know, um, like when we sold our previous Highlander, we actually sold the floor mats obviously with it, uh, you know, thinking that we won't be needing it. But although I already had this piece before, I, should, I guess I should have kept it at least. Or whatnot but so i i had to order this uh new piece um this floor mat and i'm not going to be using the whole thing let me just show you what i'm actually planning on using um so i already opened it just to make sure that everything's good to go uh, let me just flip it there you go so all i really need uh looking to use from this is this little piece right here this is the middle portion um this this is the portion where it goes into that um the through path in the middle between those two captain's chairs um that's what it you know the the previous uh third generation highlanders actually used to have uh when you you know when your vehicle was equipped with all weather floor mats this is what it came with so i want to use this to cover that middle portion that way it won't be looking kind of ugly at the same time floor you know doesn't get all scratched up or or messed up the carpet so i'm gonna put this in the middle i already measured i tried it it should fit and uh and i will definitely use this so let's go ahead and get all right guys so um there you go as you can see i used that multi-purpose roll um it's like a cutting you know feeling or whatever um and then fill these you know um holes in there so that way none of that uh, metal piece going to be actually exposed and is sticking out and whatnot so uh i mean ideally i guess uh if you have you know a similar material you might be able to actually cover it up with the you know piece of i, I guess um like a um you know the format i mean the carpet uh but for my needs i'm pretty sure this will be just enough so now i'm just gonna try to put that uh um you know the rubber piece the floor mat in the middle and get the final picture now let's see all right folks um so there you have it i just put this uh place this uh a piece of uh floor mat in here all, all weather floor mat and this is the final result um it does overlap a little bit on this side but that's okay you know the size at least match like the width and it's the same quality material since, since both of them are actually oem toyota uh, over the floor mats and the pattern and everything is the same too so but it looks much better now i mean it's much more um useful i guess um the way it looks now but yeah i hope you guys like this video uh, i really hope this helps uh, some people I'm pretty sure um, this is not the only solution. There might be some other ways, but I hope this is one of the solutions that could be, you know, taken uh, in order to um, get rid of those cup holders in the middle. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, share it with other people, and uh, and I really hope to catch you guys in future videos. Thank you so much, and y'all have a great day.